Okay, anyway, guys. We're gonna watch No to Q-A Pursuit. I believe in Ultra Q. You know why it's called Ultra Q? Because it's uh, questioning its sexuality? Uh, no, um, apparently around this time, um, the Olympics, I think like a gymnastic person won a gold medal and one of the moves was, um, then Ultra or something. Oh, what's the Q then? Question. Okay. <laughs> the Ultra Q is Ultra Question. What? Oh, yeah. Leave ho? Little kids, the best Toku. Well, then they they should have named him Ultra A instead of Ultra Man, because he's the answer. Damn, got me there. <laughs> it's a rock. It's real. Oh, oh my god. Fuck, is he Superman? Ah, uh, yes. The, the ultra method of science. <laughs> I'm glad we've developed this technology so we can sing our theme song. I, I, I love um, the Dark Fantasy remix of this because it literally sounds like a, um, a YouTube poop remix. As one does. Yeah, you, 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 I, 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 I've shown you that guy that before, right? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> no. It really is just picking up the theme song. <laughs> this is what five million government dollars went into. I hate breakfast food. Stop playing the theme song. I don't know what happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. Scientist. Yeah, you can tell from his big mustache. Yeah, he's a recurring character. Um, some sources say that he actually founded the Science Patrol. I mean, with a mustache like that, you're bound to do great things. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's Mr. Science. He's, uh... Is the Japanese version of Mr. Wizard. <laughs> they were transmitting a theme song earlier, sir. Someone had to spend weeks to get that helicopter license. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck's a guard? Why? Science. Oh, okay. Yeah. Also, the main character is a helicopter pilot. Hmm. I guess we had to justify our renting of this helicopter somehow. <laughs> oh, look at that dam. That's a nice dam. I sure hope it stays up. <laughs> I think there's only been one person in the entire history of mankind who has been hit by a meteor. And they left. <laughs> so, yeah, a meteor has we, to kill a human directly. That we Damn. know of. Yeah. Man, look at this damn. It sure is a feat of engineering. You know, if anyone's ever been killed by a meteor, they hadn't said anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All those people lost their houses. You're probably alive. That's cool. You see that? That's where you're from, and you'll never be able to go there again. Oh, here's the plot! <laughs> Why do they call the guard on? I don't get this.
Mm-hmm. Good. Thought someone was gonna come out of that other meteor. I, uh, oh god. Oh, those three people are dead. There goes all the power. This is a huge environmental and, um, technological disaster. Humanitarian? Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna destroy thousands of, um, human and animal lives. I guess that's what you get for being a rock, though. Oh. Uh, yes. That's that's a bit of an understatement. That's still standing. Hold on, that dam. It kind of looks like that dam is still up. It just got overtopped. Mm. Yeah. It'll be fine. It's only a small disaster. Sadly, we could not destroy the actual dam for this shot. No, um... Oh, there goes those people. Oh, uh, well, those people won't have any food anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that lake has been dried up to shit. We have become death! Destroy your world! No, <laughs> Oh my god, did it fucking survive? Well, shit. Grabs ass. Did you just grab my ass? <laughs> so, um, you're probably wondering what the monster this episode is. I mean, not all Ultra Q episodes had a monster. A small quake. Uh, doesn't tell them about how the dam just, like, you know... There's, there's just this dried up lake now. Yeah, yeah, there's this... Place. Oh, the dam's still fine. Just all the water it was holding yeah. is gone. Yeah, yeah, this is an environmental and um, humanitarian disaster, as you mentioned before, like... J Japan... This, like, this area probably will never recover. This will cripple Don't Japan. worry, it's, it's, <laughs> it's fine. This is... No, this is Tokusatsu. It'll probably, like, recover in about ten minutes. Yeah, it'll cover by the t end of the episode, right? So, was the driver... Is the driver dead? I think so. He just ran off. Don't worry, this will become a tourist hotspot now. Come and see Giant Eddie. Behold, the horrible monster! Uh, uh, he's coming. Pigmon! Yeah. Oh no! Not Pigmon! Look at him. Look at him go. No, like, this monster's unrelated, it just uses the same suit. What are the chances that two species have developed to be exactly identical? No, this one's a robot. Oh. That... that raises more questions, to be honest, but... Yeah, this is the first mechanical, um... Mechanical... being in, um... Ultra, in the Ultra series. How did you get locked in? That's not how doors work. Wait a second, this is a pull, not a push door, no. Oh no, Pigmon! There he goes. But simply, um... Pigmon... Seize building. I mean, those buildings are already destroyed, so. Clank, clank, clank. Ah, 
clapping. It's so cute that um that this thing thinks it's scary. I mean, if Pigmon was 50 meters tall, I too would be terrified of him. He looks confused. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I, I doing? Hmm. What'd you say, Demon? <laughs> there he I think the Pigmon suit is just in a constant state of confusion, to be honest. <laughs> I will say I think this I, I think this version of the suit looks fatter than Pigmon does in the um, original Ultraman. It's a little bit different, not by much though. Uh, well, it's not, I honestly think it's more just erosion than anything else. Uh, yeah, it's got a uh, more definition to his spiky hedgehog quills. Maybe it's supposed to be like a leaf camouflage. I don't know. I've I've never questioned what the fuck Pigmon was. Pigmon's coming for us. Thrilling action. Wait, 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 wait. He's nowhere near them. <laughs> it's fine. Wait, what the fuck? Why is there something near them? <laughs> <laughs> How did none of you think of that? How did none of you? How did none of the scientists here think of that? A more advanced civilization and IQ. Sadly, not that advanced. They still believe in IQ. No. <laughs> Okay, but the difference is that dog isn't attacking a planet. Maybe he's just confused. I mean, look at him. Why did we construct this robot to be this way? Oh. You know... Maybe they aren't that much more advanced than us. Why did we send the remote control and the... Alien separately? I don't know. Why would they make I'd the robot like look like this? I feel like we set the control for the Mars probe onto Mars. So adorable. Oh no. Not the dam! Uh, did you know in Chinese, computer is, uh, literally translated means electronic brain? Hmm. That's one sturdy dam. One more stress test. Flaps arms. Oh yeah! Well, it's as sturdy as it left, I guess. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah! Get this shit out of my way. <laughs> oh, I, I thought he was falling Fuck there the for station. a I hate clean energy! <laughs> Jangle, jangle, jangle. Oh, going back now. I'm gonna do it again! <laughs> A net? What the fuck is it made of? What? Oh, he's fucking dead, I guess. Right, it's not destroyed, they just blocked the signal. Well, that was abrupt. And... 
You forgot to write an ending for this episode. <laughs>